Thank you, Nuria. So I'd like to get to the point where our, the technology that we're developing is so powerful that the children can design the cities that they'll live in in the future. Forget about the urban planners. Um, so we, we talked about uh, diversity and uh, this goal of, that we have to move to the south. We're lucky to have Angel Perez here from the University uh, del Pacifico. So Angel has uh, not a background in architecture or computer science, which is typically what you've heard uh, today, but a PhD in literature. And he's a uh, researcher and representative in Europe of the University of Del Pacifico. And his interests include travel literature, digital humanities, and the philosophy of science. And Angel will talk about a city between the Pyrenees and the Andes. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm from Peru but I live in Lima since I was 10 years old. When I arrived in 1982, the city had begun one of its most radical transformation process, but my brothers and I didn't know, as you can see. We only knew the street of our house. Already then, I began to think that cities have a personality, and many of them change more than others. They are like a Dali collage. I think this is a good metaphor for a city. And my city, Lima, is a living collage. Uh, that needs to be interpreted and ordered. In some cases, the elements of the picture have not been thought. In others, they do. For this, we need science, technology, and humanities. We need history, for example. At first, Lima was a small pre-Columbian city in 1300. It was just a settlement with a few hundred people called Pachacamac in the middle of the desert. The Spanish foundation of Lima was later in 1535. The first ideas about the city were very strict how you see in the map. We even had a wall, but no, we don't need it. Lima in 1535. Now, Lima is huge. From that moment until now, the city has grown. It has become a city hundreds of times bigger. It is one of the largest mega cities in Latin America. It's cosmopolitan, cultural, overpopulated, and with very good gastronomy. To understand a mega city, it's necessary to have a macro view and a micro vision. The problem is that being alone do not have the necessary clarity. We have many clouds in Lima from uh, January to, to May, maybe. I don't see the, the sky. That's why we started working with Andorra Living Lab. We liked this lab a lot, especially since we found it an ideal place to think. We started to come Andorra to learn and share our experience. The city of Andorra La Bella is like one of the small neighborhoods of Lima. Understat Andorra is like using a microscope for us, the lower image of part of the project developed by our student Javier Zarate in Lima from his experience in Andorra. The comparison of cities allow us to discover new things. Lima, its design was on a grid system, for example, as the European cities found in America, like New York City. Lima, it's a friendly city. This painting shows how Lima was in the 17th century, a city of 50,000 inhabitants, near how Andorra is today. I think the people were closer uh, to the others. And this painting, like very much, and I like this photo because it shows uh, a modern and elegant city 
in the late 19th century. Lima was one of the most important cities of the continent. It was, for example, the first city in South America to have a tram. But something happened in the 20th century. One of them was, one of the problems was a car. We cut the tram in 1965. It's the same street of the uh, later photo. The city was transformed tremendously, and some streets were widened. Returning to Andorra, we have learned some work on measuring traffic in Andorra. This video is, uh, show a roundabout uh, similar Andorra, and we work with this uh, type of measurement. Uh, it's very important because we have a big roundabout in Lima. Hey, it's a huge problem for us. We think that it will be important for everyone to test uh, your uh, practice in a mega city. But for a uh, founder solution, we need to think outside the box. That is why we organize congresses like this. Uh, we will talk about travel literature and cities. I think the comparison between cities on a different scale is very important for us. I think this is a, a very important thing uh, we're meeting today. Some, sometimes, I imagine that cities are points connected by invisible threads. It teaches us to analyze and think differently. This painting by the Peruvian painter Ricardo Vise is like a map of connections. These invisible threads will help many people get out of poverty. Lima is a city of contra contradictions, like many cities in Latin America. This is a picture of one of Lima's largest slums. To order our collage, this collage, we need to be smart and think clearly. We believe that Andorran PC is fundamental to solve the puzzle of Lima. And we are talking the first steps now. The cooperation with the Andorra Living Lab project is an example of academic collaboration between two continents. And we can celebrate together and do an excellent job. Thank you very much.